Welcome back to RJK English. This is our final video for present continuous tense. We are talking about the present continuous negative. We are going to keep going through this book, English for Everyone. Um, I am not sponsored by them, but I use it for people that I teach and I find it to be really, really useful. I have a link below that um, I will post. So, we talked about how to form the present continuous subject, form of to be, uh, the uh, verb with an ing, and then the object or the rest of the sentence. So, he is wearing shorts. This would be our standard way to make the uh, present continuous. He is wearing shorts. This means right now, or at the time I'm talking about, he is wearing shorts. He wears shorts means, in general, usually he wears shorts. Present continuous means something that someone is doing at the time. If Remember how to make this negative, uh, uh, how to make a question? We just switch these two around, right? Is he wearing shorts? Is he wearing shorts? We just switch those two around. Let's look today at the last part, making a negative statement. All we do is put not in between the to be form and the verb with ing. He is not wearing jeans. He is wearing shorts. He's not wearing jeans, he's wearing shorts. Um, how can we use contractions in this though in order to, um, uh, in order to shorten the way we talk? First, for the regular sentence, we would go, uh, he's, he's wearing shorts. This is called a contraction. It puts, instead of saying he is, we say he's, he's wearing shorts. Um, in the same way, we do it a little bit differently for when you have a negative. Usually we would say he isn't, he isn't wearing shorts. I'm contracting the is and the not. Now, We'll practice this a little bit, but I always want to talk to you about what you should expect to hear from Americans. Um, Americans often will contract in this way and add a not. So uh, I'll say he's not wearing shorts. He's not wearing shorts. This is not the proper way as you would speak in school or at work. You would say he isn't wearing shorts, but sometimes in our speech, Americans will just contract, they'll contract he's and add not. So you have to contract one or the other, okay? Here's some other examples. He isn't walking outside. He isn't taking care of his dog. Let's contract four other ways. Remember, for he, she, it, it's is, right? What is it when I say you or we are, right? So you are wearing shorts. You are wearing shorts. How do I contract it? You're. You're wearing shorts. How would I contract it for this one? You aren't wearing shorts. You aren't wearing shorts. Aren't. Aren't. That's a lot of uh, consonants together. Aren't. You aren't. I can also say uh, you're not. So remember, American speech, sometimes we change it. You're not wearing shorts. You're not. We're, we're wearing shorts. We aren't wearing shorts. We aren't wearing shorts. Uh, we're not wearing shorts. What if I use I? I am, so for I it's am or I'm. I'm wearing shorts. There's only one way to... Uh, to conjugate when it's an I'm. Uh, you can't say I amped, amped. We don't say this. So for I, it's a little bit different, okay? Remember, this is what you're conjugating, the is, not this. It's always the ing, okay? See you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to RJK English. Make sure to like and subscribe and that will help me make more of these videos. I'm on YouTube and on Instagram, and see us on Facebook, and we can talk further.